Hey guys, we have Grandpa here, and with uh, old Grandpa's rifle, he's going to show us the ropes today. Uh, we're going to go over how the animals uh, react to all the different uh, movements and situations that the players can get themselves into. For some, this will be a review that they're uh, sort of used to the channel, but there's uh, new players to the game all the time. And uh, what I'm what I'm mainly talking about is uh, basically how the the animals are going to be reacting to player sound, uh, scent, and vision. I've done a couple videos on this in the past. One's quite popular. It was about uh, understanding the spook and alertness of the animals. And then I reviewed it, because over time the game changes, of course. And now it has changed even more. Well, not recently, but uh, has has enough changes since that video's uh, uh, come out. Uh, that it is definitely worth reviewing because on their official discord it's come up a few times there's been some confusion there and uh, yeah I just wanna wanna go over all that now to keep in mind if you want to keep your immersion intact into the game uh, you might not want to watch the video because this is just gonna go into sort of the the digital part of uh, part of it about how the animals are uh, responding and sort of what's happening and it's also good to a uh, note that some of this is confirmed uh, by the developers and some of it is not. So it's, it's I'm going to try to make sure to point out what is confirmed and then what is just sort of observation. So to get the ball rolling, uh, we will do maybe a little bit of hunting while while we uh, encounter the animals here. I just have the 30-30 open sight uh, just because Grandpa's favorite here. It's not really a, a focused hunt here uh, and we're going to be getting in nice and close anyways. We're on explore difficulty. I think maybe some of the stuff will be too difficult to show in Hiker. And on the harder difficulties, well, it's just sometimes it's hard to get them within visual range and easily show it. So I think Explore is a good balance for uh, demonstrating here. And an, an indiv individual on the official Discord was actually on the Explorer difficulty when uh, they had some questions. Uh, so we will stick into that one. So what we're going to do is go up to my famous mule test herd here. And we're going to try and find it. Uh, so while it's loading in here and we're getting it set up, as everyone knows, the animals just have, you know, the three main senses in the game. Uh, scent, and hearing, and vision. And the easiest one just to cover real quick, uh, while I get rid of those markers down on the south there, is uh, scent is uh, fairly easy to explain. you got your little purple goo, the smelly gas, the air cone that's going off of there. And this uh, all this does it just works like a push when the animals interact with this uh, purple uh, smog um, they just want to leave the area they don't really build up any sort of alertness or anything like that they just come what I call agitated and they just try to leave the area so uh, they won't spook from scent or anything like that uh, but they will uh, disperse from the area and try and get out of that cone so scent is uh, the easiest uh, to explain actually my deer aren't actually down here so I'm gonna have to play around with the time I think oh no they are there they are perfect uh, so yeah it's easiest to explain I would show it uh, we're kind of in a wonky sort of uh, angle here to try and use those animals maybe I'll come back to that but that typically what happens you'll see it uh, in your own game if all of a sudden the the deer get up and start walking away on you and they kind of look back at you and they start just leaving the area. Uh, just check your wind, uh, because that's uh, that's essentially what they do. The next one that's easiest to explain is vision. So vision definitely is a thing that uh, that is in the game. However, it doesn't happen very often. Uh, the animals can't really see very far. Uh, most of the detection that happens in the game is with sound. Uh, so you you can have vision have a, have a factor. Um, but it's a little tricky to explain without first explaining the sound. Uh, so what you need to understand is how you spook animals is there's this invisible alert meter that works in the background. Now this is something that is confirmed from the developers. Uh, each one of these animals have this little alert meter. It starts at, we're just going to say, starts at 0% and builds up. And the animals will spook when it hits 100%. So basically the hunter's actions uh, all add together to increase this alertness meter. And, and that governs how these animals act. Now, as the meter builds up, there'll be a point where the animals go alert. Where that specific point is, we don't know, hasn't been confirmed. It's somewhere between 50% and 
I, by my estimation on the meter range so anywhere from zero percent to fifty percent you can't really tell uh, if you're having an effect on the herd or the animals um, but I'll, I'll come back to that because that's something that has changed in the past you haven't had you haven't had any kind of feedback when it's in that lower half of the alert meter uh, so you can be building the alert meter up and not even know it. Uh, that still is a factor that happens today. Uh, but there is a, another thing that's come up that I'll get to uh, that can uh, sort of help with it. And it's important to know that each one of these little animals, happy little deer here, they have their own little alert meter. And as it builds up, it shares with the others. So once it hits the alert stage, it'll it'll the herd just all shares um, whatever the highest alert meter is. So typically you're looking out for the one that is closest to you. It'll be building up the fastest. And then when they go alert, it'll pass on to the rest. And oh, look at this. Got my friendly elk here today. Oh, and just as a side note, if I spook these guys and there's enough of them, each one of these little animals here, if they run into these guys, each one of these uh, build up the alert meter of them. It depends how many. Like this will add 10%, this will add 10%, this will add 10%. Uh, you need several of them and as they tromp by, well, uh, they can also spook. Um, that's confirmed that that's in the game. How that works is not confirmed. That's sort of from observation. You need a certain amount of animals running through for it to work. Uh, but just since these guys are here, uh, that's also in the game. And that's how that works. You need a bunch of them running through to build up their alert meter. So typically how the alert meter builds up, remember scent does not do it, doesn't really touch the alert meter at all, just kind of agitates them as I call it. Uh, how most players uh, build up the alert meter is by movement and by sound. So right now it is quite possible that I've registered alertness on these elk here, just because they're a very sensitive animal and you have this radius that comes out from you and it all depends on your difficulty level. Uh, but when you're moving you're generating sound, it's hard to tell how much in this game because there's just not enough sort of feedback to the player to, to see how much sound they're doing. Uh, but you, you sort of get used to it. So I could be building up uh, the alertness meter on these guys and that's what I mean. If it's below that 50% mark or so you just can't really tell. I probably do, I probably have registered alertness on these guys at this point. Uh, and that's with sound. So they don't see me, none of these guys see me, their vision's quite low. Uh, but they've probably detected some rustling it just hasn't toggled anything in them yet. It's kind of building up. But it's uh, what happens with sound is if I move like this, let's say I just added 5% onto that alertness meter. When it was 0 to 5%, uh, I can uh, dissipate that alertness meter by standing still. And that meter will uh, decrease. And that is where vision uh, comes in, and that's where it changes. So uh, with sound, you can control the alertness of the animal and see this guy here I gotta bring this up too in a second uh, I can control the alertness uh, with sound uh, by simply stopping so going forward I can build it up stopping I can let it uh, dissipate down with vision you cannot uh, if the animals do see you as long as they're within vision of you the alertness meter will keep uh, building so you'll know uh, like a spook due to sound because you'll be moving like this and then all of a sudden they'll go alert and then take off. That's a spook uh, due to sound and you'll see that happen all the time. Uh, that's the one you'll you'll see most often. In the, some of the situations where you're sitting on like a need zone and the animals are coming to you, uh, if they get close enough and you're not moving, so if you're not moving you're not making any sound at all, and if the wind's right you're not agitating them or anything like that, if they walk in in your crouch like this, eventually they'll see you. Now they can get awfully close, but once they can see you, uh, the alertness meter keeps building. And it will keep building. There's no way to stop it from building as long as they see you. If you're within range, doesn't matter if you're moving or anything. If they can see you and you're perfectly still but can see you, the alertness meter will keep building up and then they will spook. Um, the only way to stop the vision spook from happening and the alertness is to lie down, get out of the vision. That's the only way to drop it. So the vision is the, actually the most uh, dangerous uh, sense to get caught yourself in because it's uh, with sound you can simply just stop moving and you're okay. So you can really sneak in close to these guys by simply doing the start and stop technique that a lot of veterans of the game have gotten used to. Uh, you can just move in, it builds up the alertness meter a bit, stop, it'll dissipate, and you can kind of repeat. You can go up like this, build it to 
and then wait and it will come back down to zero move build up to like 10 percent or so and now this is this is all dependent on difficulty and sort of experience and the numbers i'm rattling off aren't confirmed they're just sort of n arbitrary not really arbitrary numbers but they're uh, the percentage just to give you an idea what's uh, what's sort of working what's sort of uh, working in the background so that is how that works these guys can't see me right now that's how kind of poor their vision is i can stand right up uh they don't see me um anyways they're on the move so it must be must be time to go on their rest. Uh, but that is sort of the summary of how that uh, that works. And I gotta actually watch this uh, four star here. Now, the question came up. I just want to see if they're gonna see me. Does this guy see me? He might see me. I'm gonna stay standing here just for a second because I'm actually not sure. I think I'm too far away to be spotted, even though I'm standing. Yeah, I think this is uh, what I need to get to. This is going to be a little complicated to explain, but so far what I've, um, how I've sort of explained it is how the games always function. But what happened is when the charging mechanics came out, the defensive mode came out for the animals, the, the aggression, uh, the developers implemented another AI state, like another another state that the animals can enter in. And they never actually had a name for it uh, until the recent patch notes. And they called it Inspect, uh, the inspection mode. Um, I should actually pop out and look at the notes just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure they call it the Inspect mode now. And that is actually separate from the aggression, you yeah, see. But what's going on here, this is the Inspect mode in action here. So what kind of prompted this video is uh, people were saying, uh, the animals are uh, looking at me before I alert them, and that never happened before. Uh, but essentially, this is what I believe what they're seeing. Uh, so it is kind of challenging to explain. There they go. That was a vision right there. See the spook there? So I wasn't moving, making no sound at all. Wind was going that way. Uh, that one came out uh, doing an inspection, and... And I'm getting charged, and I'm not ready to move. Oh, there we go. <laughs> My hands are off the keyboard. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, uh, that was a vision spook right there. It doesn't happen too often. I'm obviously standing up there, and, and so you can see me. But as you can see, he was looking at me, and the alert meter was just building and building and building, and it wasn't stopping, and away it went. Uh, but typically, you don't really get that close in that kind of scenario. Most people will be crouched or laying down at that point, so you don't uh, don't encounter it too much. Um, but that's what, that's what prompted uh, this video, is uh, people were saying, oh, the, the animals never have started looking at me now before, uh, before going alert. Uh, because before, when you're building up the alert meter from uh, 0 to like 50%, you would never get any feedback at all until they go alert and then they will look at you. And they, they all kind of turn their heads and uh, stare at you when they go alert. But now they're looking at you before uh, going alert, and that's where I got to explain um, how this works. Now, this part's not confirmed with the developers. It's just they just recently confirmed that it has a name, uh, or at least they've decided to name it. Um, the the inspect mode. Uh, when it came out, people were calling it the curiosity mode, or the animals were curious. They would come out and. In CU, I was calling it a defensive mode because it was mainly seen on Cape Buffalo, and well, in my mind, the Cape Buffalo weren't really being curious; they were being defensive, right? They were guarding; they would they would come out for you. So you would see a couple of them leave the herd, and one go to the left, one go to the right, and they would kind of stare you down. Uh, so uh, it was known as curious mode or defensive mode, but now it's um, still hasn't actually officially been said anywhere that I've seen, except for in the patch notes. It was just brought up and it just said um, inspection mode. Actually, let's just take a look at that now. There, yeah, right here. Um, this has been the first mention of it uh, when they change this charging behavior. Uh, so it'll say here, Cape Buffalo Moose will charge 40% less and inspect 60% less. So this inspect here is like the inspect mode when they're coming out to investigate you. So the curious defensive one. But this has never had a name. Uh, it was never even confirmed that it was an additional mode or anything. It was just something the players had noticed and we're like well that's interesting and then for a while we're trying to connect the inspect mode with the charge uh, but just as a side note here uh, the inspect and charge do not appear 
uh, to be dependent on each other at all. They're they're independent. So they're like two different modes. Uh, you can get charged without the inspection being on, and the inspection does not increase the chance of being charged, as far as I can tell. Uh, charge pretty much. Uh, if you want to know how that works, uh, charge is pretty much a chance, dependent on the species. Every species have, has a different uh, chance to charge. Um, it's a roll of the dice based on that chance upon spook. Uh, so if you spook the animal, uh, it doesn't matter if they're in inspect mode or not. Uh, if you spook the animal, they all roll the dice and see if they charge you or not. Uh, and that's all been reduced in the in the last patch notes. Uh, they get an increased chance of charge, chance if they're wounded. So that's the only two factors that um, that are involved there. Species type, and then if they're wounded or not, um, govern the, that chance. All right, and it only happens on, on spook. Uh, so I wanted to explain that. And then this is the other important part. Uh, the inspection stuff. So right now the animals are not uh, seeing me at all, detecting me or anything like that. Uh, it's going to be hard to demonstrate because I lost my elk. Uh, let's see if these guys do it. Now remember when I said the alertness doesn't show anything between 0 and 50%? Um, that that's, still holds true. Um, but there is a way to tell if you're now if you're building the alertness meter up because what happens is that inspect mode, uh, that inspect mode is basically a roll of the dice upon the animals detecting you. Uh, so as soon as I get into range where I build up just one percent of uh, that alertness meter, even though they don't indicate they've noticed me at all or anything like that, uh, the game sees that I'm within their observation range and they've heard some kind of rustle if I do anything that triggers any kind of alertness meter on like meter on them that inspect mode will roll and if it becomes a positive roll then a few of these animals uh, will come out to inspect me and then you can get that's when you can get them looking at you so th um, that's sort of what prompted the video here is that I think what's happening is people are tripping the inspect mode farther out than they're used to triggering the alert mode or the alertness of them which does get them to look in your direction and that's kind of what they're seeing uh, you're not seeing it here because it's just a, it's a failed roll there's only a chance depending on, on the species but you've seen it earlier in the video with that elk approaching me so those elk were not alerted at all and as I was talking through it like moving through it remember I was saying uh, I built you know I just built 10 percent now I'm stopping I was building up a little bit of alertness in the background and I triggered that uh, that inspect mode. Uh, so then some of the animals started to look at me. Some of them don't come out to see you. Some of them just stand there and uh, you're good. So this could be inspect mode here or it could be agitated. She's acting a little weird. Not actually sure what's going on with her. Some of it's still a little funny to to, to figure it out. This is looking like she's agitated. That's a. They get this weird. There's there's all sorts of different states that these animals can be in, and one of them I used to call it, they were pressured, but I can't use that term anymore because the hunting pressure is the term used in the game to flip the zones. Uh, so now I'm calling it agitated. She's agitated here, and typically I don't see one of them agitated by themselves. It's usually all of them, so I'm not really too sure. So that's kind of unique to see. She's all kind of, see, she's acting robotic, and that's, there she goes. You see how that goes out? That can kind of break your immersion. That's one of my problems with this, like, the agitated mode. Uh, it hasn't really been, um, I've been talking this whole time. Is that a melanistic? Or am I, is it just, like, the shadow? It's just the shadow, okay. She looked dark there for a second. Uh, yeah, that hasn't been uh, confirmed or anything like that, but that's a, that's a state what can happen. If if the cone gets them, the, the smell, then they become agitated. But they don't act like robots, but anyways, if you alert them enough, um, they'll become agitated and act kind of funny. But we can try to do... I can try and put them in the cone. If we do a bunch of start and stops here. And then you can just see, look at that guy kind of lopsided there. See if I can get them in the cone. No, he's inspecting. There you go. Agitated. 
and and that was oh the inspection ran out the inspection timer it's kind of, i think it's dependent on species too it doesn't last very long yeah this is uh, i'm glad to see it in the video i can't tell if that's agitated or inspection she might be inspecting or just walking this way sometimes it's hard to tell anyways i'm gonna try and get them in the cone because I'm definitely a registering uh, percent on the alert meter. Yeah, see. I'm pretty sure this is... I can't tell because I don't think they put their head down when they're inspecting. I think they're just walking this way. <laughs> so I'm trying to get the, the wind on them here. So you can just see what that looks like. Now, any uh, uh, like higher difficulty, you can't really move around this close. Basically, the closer you are, the faster the alert meter goes up. So when I just do this, I probably jump it up by 20%, just by a little move. Now, I'm doing the fast crouch. You can do this slow crouch, which builds it up a little slower. I'm not sure these guys actually are going to go into inspect mode. That's something I'm still trying to sort out. I think it only rolls once upon detection. But these guys are well aware of me at this point, or at least they know that something's up and then I don't think it rolls again I think it only rolls on initial initial um, but I'm um, thinking yeah, it's kind of hard because it might actually roll again because I think that elk rolled again on it or something anyways that one that hasn't been all solved yet so I don't actually know if they're coming out to inspect me and then just the inspection timer runs out or they're just actually walking this way they should catch my scent, though, right about now. This guy should catch it. So for the rest of the video, I think I've explained. I know I've talked for 20 minutes. Um, I think I'm just going to basically just walk through what I'm seeing and just sort of explain what's going on because maybe that will help people. Oh, there's a guy right here. Now, how come that's not in the cone? The cone's got to be right on you guys by now. You got to be smelling me. What's going on here? So see, yeah. And then some of them are just looking this direction just because it's the animation. So you also can't really get tricked on that. Okay. There we go. That's got to be it. There. All right. So one of them uh, went into the cone, and then it transferred to all the rest. So you'll see how they're looking back. That's kind of the agitated thing here. And then they're just going to leave the leave the purple cone, and they'll stop and look back. That's kind of like the little agitated sort of thing. So let's just watch for a second. There. See? They're going to pause and look back. This is what I call agitated, because I have no other name for it. They haven't labeled this. And you can get this, uh, you can get this action, uh, but by doing other things, such as, uh, alerting them over and over again, and sort of creating pressure on them. Uh, but I, I gotta be careful not to use hunting pressure for calling that, because I used to call that, uh, because it is different. Hunting pressure flips the zones. This is, um, yeah, basically just b bothering them. Um, but yeah, so that one doesn't show up on hunter sense or anything like that. You can't really measure that. So when the, when the scent hits them, or if I've bothered them and set the alert off too much, uh, they'll become agitated and leave the area like that. And they'll look back at you, um, over and over again. And the problem is I, I don't think that mode is working as intended. I don't think it has for a long time because they'll get stuck in the agitated mode for a long time. They won't, they won't uh, get out of it. And I'm not too sure if I can find them again. Well, the problem is, the problem is they're going to smell me again, though. Oh, here here they are. Yeah, they're just going to keep leaving because they're going to keep hitting the cone, so I'm not really going to be able to watch them. See them looking back? Uh, when they find their stopping spot, I should really try to show this. I'm not really too sure I'm going to be able to. What they will do is they'll they'll pick their spot there's the leader of the herd, and he'll find his spot where he's trying to move to. And then they'll all gather on him, and then they'll, they'll do little circles. They'll all walk together. Like, they'll, they won't get comfortable. They'll just kind of 
move back and forth. You know, this one's looking back at me. Uh, it's kind of hard to see in the video. Like, they can't see me from here. The game is just programmed to say, look back at that player. <laughs> give, give them some kind of feedback. Um, even though they can't see me, they will turn their head, of course, to give the illusion that they're listening in that direction. But, uh, yeah, I've lost them over the thing. But that's what will happen. Um, they'll be, they'll sit there agitated. And, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to get to them. Just because of the wind, I'd have to, I'd have to run around. Maybe I'll try and do that. So where are they? They're over, they're over down here somewhere. I'm going to see if I can la loop around. So I know the video has just been me talking, but there isn't really any other way to really explain all of that. Um, I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover. But I did want to give some examples, and we have seen a few. Uh, but it is different depending on which animals you encounter. Because I don't think they, uh, like, badger... Well, badgers have the charge, but they don't... I don't think they have, like, a defensive mode, like the the inspect mode. I don't think the little ones do. Uh, am I stirring them up? What are these guys doing? Let's see... Maybe we can uh, fiddle around with these guys. Since uh, they are calm, they have been... N are not involved... So far, I don't think it's the same herd. Is there a four star sitting in there? Oh, maybe it is. Okay, they're on their way back. Well, no, it didn't. Yeah, I spooked them this way, didn't I? Okay, so they're on their way back. Uh, so if they were agitated, they no longer are. Uh, they'll read calm. But seeing the hunter sense information in the top right, there's that other meter, that agitation kind of meter. You can't, it doesn't, it won't show here. There's no way to really gauge it except for experience. Uh, so I've lost the mule deer. I, I did want to show that when they're agitated. But essentially what they'll do is they'll just go back and forth like this. In like one spot and they'll keep switching places and it looks really weird and not great. Oh, they were right there. There they go. Oh, maybe we'll see this propagating secondary spook action. Oh no, they're turning. Alright, uh, so that spook there, that was a sound spook. Uh, they didn't see me. They heard me pretty much jogging. Let's see if I can trip these guys off. There, I just did. So the elk are super sensitive. And just by jogging, unexplored difficulty. What are we at? 120, 130. See how they're looking? And they're alerted. So that's what everybody's used to. Uh, what they were wondering about is, why are they looking at me uh, when I haven't alerted them? But that's what that is, defensive thing. Or the inspect. So... I definitely have applied alertness pressure to these guys on the meter, uh, but none of them went into the inspect mode or in the inspect mode. Uh, elk don't have a high chance of it, so they're not a very good species to try to get to do. And here's the thing that I'm actually still testing. Uh, I don't know if I will trigger an inspect mode anymore now that I'm in the alertness range, and the inspect roll has already happened and failed. I don't know if it's going to go again. There's the alertness. So I hit about, I can't, I can never tell, you know, since it's an invisible meter, I don't know how, how far uh, that meter is. Is it 50% when they go alert or is it 75%? Uh, now see how they're looking at me? Uh, they don't actually see me. The vision is not working. If the vision was working, they would have spooked by now. They wouldn't have gotten calm. Because remember, if they see you, the alertness meter does not stop building. It keeps building up and up and up. Alright, so what's happening is I'm alerting them with the noise I'm making. That doesn't really have much feedback in the game. You just have to believe that you're making lots of noise. And I'm building up their alertness meter. I'm building up their alertness meter. I'm still building it up. And they're alerted. Right? Seems like maybe 50% or so. Now, see, I've alerted them many times, and if you keep doing this, they'll eventually be agitated and walk away. Uh, but that's very finicky, too. That whole agitation state, I know I'm, I've said it a lot, and, and I'm bringing it up a lot. I don't think it's working as intended, so bear that in mind. It's a very funky kind of thing, since you, can, you can't really measure it or anything. Uh, but what we should do, because the video is already at 30 minutes, and I think I've gotten through everything, I'm going to try and age this, uh, this four-star elk. It looks like they're not going to be in their inspection mode for me. There's a one-star uh, 
I could try a call here. I wanted to like go to Cape Buffalo and stuff like that. But uh, maybe we'll just do have a little bit of fun here. He's going to get blocked by the 4-star. The 30-30. This just isn't going to be very effective. <laughs> get out of the way. There he is. Here we go. Oh, moving. Oh, there we go. So this was a charge on Spook. The shot... Uh, spook the animals. He rolled my four star. He rolled the charge chance successfully. So you can see how that happened there. None of them were in the inspect mode. It didn't have anything to do with it. It was just spook. Roll the dice. Which ones do you charge me? And that's all been reduced. Uh, so I just want to see. It's going to be small red blood, I think. If not, the 30 30 would be very impressive. The 30 30 can do that shot successfully. But yeah, no. You you need a bit of a scope there, and I shot high, so uh, not a big problem. Uh, because I think the rest of the video is just going to be be seeing if I can get that guy to be a five star. I think that's uh, pretty much what we're doing. It won't take too long to, to grow him up. Uh, so actually, we'll start doing that right now. I don't know what day of the year it is uh, in the game. I'm just going to clear up my little blue dots. I can't stand them there. And we're going to go right around. Uh, yeah, let's just check next day. We're going to go right around 942. See if we go into the new year or not. I don't actually know. But I also want to see if this zone down here is actually their often zone. Uh, so that's what we'll do. We'll hop down here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, the wind's going right at him too. That's good. Okay, I'm going to have to approach from a different way. So I sure hope the video is helping somebody out there with all this. I mean, I've done other videos and they, they seem to help people. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, some of it's confirmed. The alert meter's confirmed. The other stuff is just a whole bunch of observation. Look at that. They're grabbing me from so far away on <laughs> an explorer. 180 meters. Uh, just as a side note, like red deer, or side note, like red deer and elk. Uh, okay, he hasn't grown up, so that's fine. Oh, there's two one stars in there. Uh, 180 meters is the number to know, because depending on difficulty level, it's usually 180 meters out where they'll start detecting you, depending on difficulty and movement. Uh, basically, that's kind of their radius, and animals don't really have anything larger than 180, unless you're, unless you're doing a full sprint. Uh, but I was jogging there, and that 180 got me. I'll just give you some kind of numbers. So, we're going to throw another 30-30 in here. Uh, just as a really bad shot. I don't know. Let's see if I can sneak in here. We're going to go crouched. I'm probably going to end up spooking them, because I'm, I'm more interested in uh, seeing what that zone is. And aging this guy more so than calling the two one star matures since I only have the 30 30. Oh, one more thing. Uh, at some point in time, they did implement that terrain blocks the sound or at least diminishes it. Before, it, at one point when the game came out, it didn't. So if you got a solid object in between you, I think probably solid like the trees do. If it's an object that you can't move through, I'm pretty sure it reduces the sound. The terrain does now, anyways. And it didn't when the game came out. It was causing a whole lot of problems. When the game came out, I would have spooked him by now. Yeah. The thing is, though, I don't have the patience. So I'm, <laughs> I'm going to end up spooking them. I'm building their alertness meter now. They're about 90 meters out. Let's refresh the bubble. Oh, no, the bubble went away. And so I'm building it up. What I should be doing is going slower. Uh, but it's, it's just you got to gauge your own patience and how much you, you're you concerned about actually getting in there. If if I went like this, like waited and made sure the meter uh, went down to 0%, like just kind of sat here, look at the clouds, and then move really slowly like this, and stop, and then wait and watch the clouds, <laughs> you, you can get in really close. Um, 
It's just I don't find it ever really worth uh, <laughs> going that slow. Uh, hey, did they move? Or do I got move? Do I have more elk? What happened? <laughs> did they run on me and I didn't know it? I don't know. They're still there. All right. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not patient enough for it, so I'm gonna go right in. Oh, they're calm. So this one's looking, but that's not at me. So I think some people are um, also misinterpreting just the normal eating animations and stuff. That was just glancing this way. That's part of the normal animation. See, there's this one here. That actually might be an inspect. Yep, this one's an inspect. She's coming out. All right. Now, that was a refreshed roll, so that uh, that busts my idea that it's just a pawn detection. Yeah, they must be like a it must be a, a timer or something like that that lets them re-roll for a chance to inspect. And then it's it. It doesn't last very long, but people have been using it um, to get the animals in closer for like a bow shot. So they're all calm, and where's a where's a shot here? There they go. Alert, because I'm moving. So that, this is all sound. They can't see me. They just hear something in this direction. They're quite blind. And uh, let's throw a 30-30 in on this guy. Quartering away. Oh well. Uh, now the problem is, I'm probably going to flip their zone. I don't want to do. I don't want to flip the zone though. I probably just did though. <laughs> oh no. I can always flip it back, I suppose. Well, that's kind of annoying. So I'm going to send them running. I'm going to check the blood. I'm just putting holes in these guys. They're just going to die of old age anyways if I can't. Take them down. Uh, oh, we got the kill. There we go. So I do have to give them a minute, but i got to check the zone. I think I might have flipped it. That's mule deer. Where in the world? Is the elk one? Okay, I didn't flip it. Yay! Alright, all I gotta do is track this guy down. And as bonus information, because why not? Uh, as you can see, I'm aging the animals. And how I'm doing that is essentially... Uh, basically, it's three days per year. And... You just have to wait about five minutes or so each day for it to count towards a year. If you sleep too much, it'll uh, the day won't count, like the time won't progress. You get sit down there, you. You just lay down again. This is something else that's changed. It takes forever to die now. Uh, yeah, uh, so three days to a year. Each each day, just wait five real minutes, and that should be enough to make it count for a count towards the year. So you can age them fast. And if you, you want to make sure a year goes by, you just have to um, just sleep three times, and then a year will definitely go by. Are you down? All right. See how we did. Hey, right, one shot. Look at that, 30-30. Man, oh man. I almost think the 30-30 worked better than the 6.5 Creedmoor in this scenario. <laughs> I've been having a rough time on the 6.5. Look, 30-30 can do it. Why can't you there, 6.5? Because what happens is the 6.5 Creedmoor blows its cavity damage too early, and then sometimes it doesn't knock out the lung. Anyways, that's a good shot for uh, iron sights. 38%. Nice money there. Sell him off. So the zone is should still be often. So let's fly back here. We've done one sleep. Let's do two. And chances are I still do this. I'll, I'll uh, go flying into the next day, but down here. And I'll just uh, get a drink and rest for a second. And then uh, we'll... 
we'll check them out. So this is the second day. So there's a good chance that I just moved it ahead a year because I, I don't, uh, I haven't been keeping track of the start of each year. Uh, we'll find out in a minute. All right, so it's the uh, next day. They're up here. Uh, the wind is good this time, so don't have to worry about that. And we're going to take the elevated ground to sneak up. There is a bit of terrain in between us, so the sound won't carry. However, now it's opened up. Some are going to be within. They're going to stand up in a second if they haven't already. Here we go. Four star. He hasn't grown up yet. Okay, so probably still haven't uh, aged him. I'm not going to take another shot uh, because if I do, I think I'm going to flip the zone, and I really want him to keep him here. Uh, the hunting pressure uh, dissipates in real time, not game time. So the hunting pressure that I applied there from hitting an animal and then firing a shot off, it's still sitting on that uh, that zone. It, uh, Toothless Chihuahua Greg, he did a lot of science on it. It takes several hours for it to uh, decrease, like real game time hours. You can't sleep it off. Right, yeah, they're just alerting away there. Uh, so all I can do now is I just I just need to give it. Uh, maybe we'll check on some white tailed deer. Uh, I just need to give it five minutes, and then I can go into the next day. And then the next day, yeah, this is day two. So the next day, Stell might not age them, but it's uh, a good chance that it will. Actually, no, it must age them because I've slept one day right if I started on the first day then it would have been day two and then this should be day three of the year okay so it definitely should um, it definitely should age them then as long as I didn't get the sleeping confused did I sleep twice <laughs> I think so <laughs> uh, there's some white tail up here so I just gotta give it five real time minutes at least and oh we can get some some eyes on these guys. Anything great? I don't think so. Nope. I don't have any calls or anything with me. Just binoculars in the 30-30. Which means if the guy does go 5-star, we'll have to take him with a 30-30, but that's no, it's no problem, as you can see. As long as you don't hit him in the head. Alright, I was going to give it a minute, and then we'll uh, try again here. Alright, he's still a 4-star. So, the trouble is... He's definitely aged. So, of course, it not guaranteed he goes to 5-star, right? He could just be stuck in the 4-star. And, uh... Not gonna age. Uh, was there a 2-star mature before? Oh, there's lots of 1-star matures. See, they definitely aged. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So he just, he aged, but stayed 4-star. So then, do we keep waiting? I guess I'm kind of out of time. We're not going to see what happens with this guy. Because I think he'll probably just die of old age at four stars. And I should really call these guys out. Try again, but I'll flip the zone. If I did. But that's okay, because what I can do is in the next video, I'll show how to flip it back again. Which a lot of people already know, but, uh, you know, it's always fun to do that. Wait, which one's reading the one-star mature? This guy? Oh, he's a young one. I want that really old one. Look, there's two one-star matures. This one's a new one-star mature. It might be hard to see in the video. And this guy's an old one-star mature. So this guy, he could be in the 60%. This guy's probably barely 50%. So let's throw... Oh, this this guy, too. Oh, these guys are horrible. This has got to be the one I hit before. He's really old looking. I'm not going to have any kind of angle on him. Might just be throwing 30, 30, 30 rounds his way in hope that I, I flesh wound him or something. Uh, if I alert them, maybe they'll turn. Let's just kind of charge in here, crouch, get some elevation. The wind's good. There's the alert. It's him, right? This guy looks bad, too, though. Oh, he's stuck. 
Okay, we're gonna go for this guy. Get this long shot, stand up, and we got the hit. And I'm not going to know which one is him again. So let's run down, we'll check on the blood. We'll see if the zone flips or not. But I might have my video or video idea for next one. I end up flipping the zone. We'll go after this guy. Here's the blood. Look at that. 30-30. Doing the job. Iron sights. It, here's the thing, though. I, I mean, I've been teasing that 6.5 creed lore. But, um... If I had used the 6.5, it wouldn't worked. <laughs> it might have worked. But, I mean, look at that, eh? Uh, is this his blood down here? Or the old blood? Like the one I was chasing before. Okay, this is going to take a second. Alright, well I'm just going to find this guy and then that will be the the end of the video if I can find him. Yeah, because the other guy didn't leave this much blood along here. And then I think it disappears upon harvest anyways. Okay, yeah, this is definitely him. Alright, let's go get him. We'll probably end up kicking him up again. If we can find where he bedded down. Yeah, they go awfully far. Oh, there he is. Texas heart shot. Nope. Oh, he's just down again. So last time the guy, he just expired when he laid down again. See, this guy does the same. Sometimes they uh, jump back up again. I find it surprised that people, th uh, for the longest time, like throughout the year of Way of the Hunter, uh, people kept thinking that was a new feature being added where they get back up again. Uh, but it, it was in since day one. You could you could have that happen. Oh, one shot again, man! Ninety meters. It's the other one I hit before. Yeah, I mean, 30-30, doing it, 30%. Sell him off. All right, so that's it for now. Oh, video super long. Oh, well. Yeah, that's just how it goes. Got to get some hunting in. Uh, so hopefully that was helpful for some of you guys. Let me know any comments, concerns, all that good stuff. Uh, thanks a bunch for watching. Everybody take care. Happy hunting. See you next time.